Kevs gang, welcome back to another reaction with your boy Kevs. Whew. It's been a minute since I've recorded <laughs> again. Oh my god, this is starting to be a reoccurring thing that shouldn't reoccur. Peep. Alright, but we are trying some uh, a little different. I don't know who. I don't know. It's too many people are familiar. Actually, no, a lot of people would be familiar with Jimmy Carr. So we are gonna try ten minutes of his rudest jokes and i don't know let's see if i can try not to laugh but i don't think i don't think that's gonna work so let's hop into this right let's try some rude stuff see if we get along <laughs> Shit. lady wind queefing fanny farts <laughs> the expulsion of air from the vajay during sexual intercourse I okay that I, I can't really do that There are two main responses when a queef occurs. Some couples, it doesn't matter how gnarly or squelchy the noise, they deny the queef. <laughs> Did you hear anything? No, I didn't hear anything. I am so happy. And they move on. Some have I... a funny little noise. Wait, have I expe... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Giggle, I'm on. not exposing not myself like this. I like to go a third way. I like to pretend the vagina myself is to talking shit. to me. <laughs> What's that? There's a boy trapped down a well. <laughs> I like to think of myself as the vagina whisperer. <laughs> what happened? Do you get a phone call? There's a Scottish lady getting a phone call. I imagine the drugs are arriving any moment. <laughs> All right. You switched it off and it rang anyway. <coughs> well, I'm not buying that fucking story. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. It's only a phone. Don't feel bad. It's a what, sorry? It's a late alarm to come and see me. Well, come and see me an hour fucking late. <laughs> You're not the one I booked for the interval, are you? <laughs> this laugh. Use moisturizer, but I'm old fashioned. I just spit on my hand. <laughs> okay, it took me what a What do you think we're talking about? I don't know why. Yeah, see. <laughs> Yeah, it took me a minute. <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> it took me a minute to catch on. Oh, oh come God. on, don't give me that look. We've all been there. Come on, love, the film starts in 10 minutes. We haven't got time for your fancy foreplay or your expensive lubricant. We're going to be buttering the baking tray the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Ironically, buttering the baking tray is the phrase that will stick. So you've just given him a look as if to say, I thought you invented that. <laughs> How does he know what we do? <laughs> I like getting a blowjob off the missus. I don't know if you get this. I don't know if you get a blowjob off my missus, but... <laughs> the thing I like about oral sex from my partner, I think the thing most men enjoy about oral sex from our partners, not anything sexual, ladies, it's the peace and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, if you've ever been going down on a guy and he's gone, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's not your technique, that's not the sound of his sexual ecstasy. That is the sound of a man not being asked a question. <laughs> I was at a party, I was chatting to a guy, he said, what does your girlfriend do? I said, anything but anal. <laughs> I'm joking. She loves it. <laughs> I'm in a long-term relationship, but I'm not married. Is anyone else in that situation? Quite a few, but you're timid about saying, because uh, like me, you'll know, if you're in a long-term relationship but not married, everyone, friends, family, colleagues, acquaintances, everyone feels they can stir it up a bit. As soon as anyone hears, they go, have you thought about? Have you two, have you thought about? I'm trying to start an argument between us. I think it's very rude. So whenever anyone says to me, have you thought about? No. Have you thought about? Mind your own no. damn business. Is would I always be go, the what the third I finger in? guess. <laughs> I could give it a go. I'm not sure it's what the relationship is missing. Maybe try the shocker. <laughs> two in the pink, one in the sting. That's how that works. Sorry, too much. Two in the goo, one in the poo. Two in the pink, one in the stink. There. Nicer for everyone. More PG. 
I don't know what conversation that prompted there. Um, I imagine that was you, madam, turning to him, thinking, I'm glad it's not just you. <laughs> I had a woman come up to me after a show in Tunbridge Wells. She said, I found that shocker thing very uncomfortable. <laughs> now, I knew what she meant. <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. I said, lubricant. <laughs> Are you all aware of what snowballing is, the sexual practice snowballing? Yeah. I think like, I've heard of it. Was that down there? But I can't really remember what it well actually done. tells. Everyone else so do one. Okay, well, I'll explain. Memory, please. Tell something about you. <laughs> Snowballing is a sexual practice where having administered oral sex, your partner doesn't spit or swallow so much as return to sender via a kiss. <laughs> oh, you're looking shocked and appalled as I explain that to you. Let me assure you, I found out the hard way. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm not appalled, I'm and just... And it does raise an interesting moral dilemma. Not curious. Should you spit or swallow? <laughs> well, if you really love yourself. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> that is a very good question. <laughs> you know how we all say, yeah, I, I, I would say I love myself. I can't bring myself to ask my, this question. <laughs> like, but, but do you? Guys, <laughs> answer. Do you know what? I'm not, I, let's move, let's move past this because I am not answering this question. Fuck that. So I can see some friends. Shit. Up there, oh. And you're explaining that to your mum. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, what a brilliant day out that will be. <laughs> what a lovely drive home. So this snowballing thing. <laughs> Marvellous. A lot of men like it when the collars and cuffs match, but I wouldn't oh, want to date a geez. bald lady. Hmm? <laughs> that took you a while to get. <laughs> Apparently, women like chocolate because it stimulates them in the same way as sex, which I think goes some way towards explaining the popularity of the chunky Kit Kat. I've never found chocolate to be an aphrodisiac. The only way a chocolate bar is going to help my sexual performance is if I use it as a splint. <laughs> or bait. <laughs> I've got a friend that took me to one side recently. He said, what does it mean if on a first date a girl puts a cheeky finger up your bum whilst fellating you? Wait, 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 wait. Got a friend that took me to one side recently. He said, what does it mean if on a first date a girl puts a cheeky finger up your bum whilst fellating you? First of all, that's weird. I'm sorry, but vice versa. I believe that that is weird. There needs to be some sort of like conversation before this happening. Either way, like vice, like I said, vice versa. If, if you don't need... I can't say the things I want to say because <laughs> YouTube. I said it means there's going to be a second date. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't. When my first girlfriend choked to death. No way. It was a terrible blow. <laughs> I had to finish myself off. <laughs> my girlfriend said to me recently, we can't have sex, I've got a headache. I said, I'm going to be right at the other end. <laughs> Do you want to get back to me if you get a pain in your vajay -jay? <laughs> That's right, I said vajay -jay. what of it? <laughs> I've got an awkward question for you. It's awkward whether you're here on a first date or whether you're in a long-term relationship. It's awkward <clears> for everyone. Should you spit or swallow following oral sex? <laughs> Goggles. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, there's a fella there that loves the taste of sponge. Yep. My man said, I. No, it's an awkward question. It's pretty much the cutting edge of sexual politics. I'm going to sort this out for you Oops, once and for all. Again. You'll never have to think about it again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Should you spit or swallow following oral sex? It doesn't matter. Once I've ejaculated, I'm asleep. <laughs> you know you what? can do Fair what point. you fucking like. <laughs> you can gargle the national anthem for all I care. <laughs> as long as it doesn't wake me up or interfere with you calling your cab. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to talk oh, about a sex act that I don't fully understand. Are you all familiar with the 69, yes? Yes. Finally! Like the 
Finally, finally. Oh my god. Do you know what? For a second, yeah, I actually felt like I didn't know nothing about what's going on in the world, but at, or at least I wasn't experienced. Now, at least, I heard something. A term I can relate to. <laughs> oh god. 69 as much as the next man. Wait, what? 69, yes? Mm -hmm. No, I like the 69 as much as the next man. <laughs> Hoping he isn't man, that would be terrible. Okay. Well, I like the 69, but I don't, I don't really understand it because it's an incredibly intimate thing to do with another human being. But how does the 69 ever occur? It only ever happens when, when the, the man says to the woman, would you do that thing that I like? Yeah. And the woman goes, yeah, all right, but only if you do that thing that I like. Yeah. And the man goes, not a problem, away you go. Yeah. And the woman <laughs> says, no, because the last time I did the thing that you liked, you were a little bit sleepy afterwards. You fucked off to sleep. Okay. You said we'll call it a 68. It's like a 69, but I owe you one. <laughs> I like everything about the 69 apart from the view. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, yeah, both ways. I'm with it. <laughs> look, 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 look. I don't care. I I don't know. Am I an I I don't know. I think I'm partial. I like ass and tits, right? But but I don't like look I wouldn't look at an ass crack. That's a big difference. So I'm with it. I am I'm a hundred percent with this. The perineum or taint. Yeah, yeah. I like to call it the Amanda Holden. Yeah. <laughs> because like Amanda Holden on Britain's Got Talent uh -oh. last year. It's the bit between the arsehole and the c Hi, I'm Jimmy Kell. Okay, the guy you just saw in that video. <clears throat> Thanks for watching it, because uh, somehow I get money from that. I, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. P probably, probably it filters through. So Some sort of advert that you watched before you watched the video, maybe? Or maybe you subscribed? Anyway, thanks for watching it, and somehow that benefits me, and hopefully I'll see you at a live- Damn. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was Jimmy Carr. <laughs> I hope I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and hey, I'm sorry, but if you have a different point of view to what I had at the last bit, then I don't, I don't know, man. To, to what? To each their own. Let's go back to what it was. To each their own. You do you. And I'm gonna keep doing me, man. Guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you can be up to date with all new videos being posted by your boy. Out.